What up squad? We are about to tint the tail lights on this and the badge coming up. So what up squad, it's your main man, Really Rails. Like I said, we are about to debadge the charger and we're also gonna tint the tail lights on it. But first, make sure you do me a solid and click that subscribe button down below. Hit that notification bell and smash that like icon for me, you know, so we can get this thing moving and trending through the YouTube atmosphere, you dig? And make sure you share it with your friends, you know, we can't keep this channel a secret, you dig? Um, so in the mail today, I actually got the uh, tail light tent from Lux Auto Concepts. Pretty dope, you know, they send you a good package or whatnot. Um, you get the squeegee, you get the cleaner, you get a microfiber towel. You also get the actual strip, they're pre-cut uh, for this section right here and this section right here on both sides, of course. And we're gonna take this Dodge badge off so we can give it a clean look all the way across. And that's all that's pretty much in the box. So we can toss that. Um, but so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna de-badge it first. So I'm gonna get the camera set up so you can watch as I de-badge it. You need a heat gun and you need either a uh, fishing line or maybe dental floss might work too. So we're gonna heat, heat them up individually and then we're gonna remove them so we can get that clean look. All right, so first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just wipe across here just to make sure there ain't nothing pumping on them or anything like that. So we don't wanna heat up no dirt and stuff like that. So clean them off and get a heat gun. So that trusty heat gun shirt, yeah, it reaches all the way over. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do them, heat them up one at a time. We're gonna start with the heat gun on low, just to make sure we don't overdo it. And you wanna do it in a sweeping motion. Don't hold it still like that because you're gonna melt your paint and probably do some significant damage. So we're gonna do that, let's get it. Let it warm up a second. Right, should be hot enough, yeah. Yeah, that was hot. Don't ask me why I touched it. But, you know, you do it for about 10 seconds. All right, turn it off, and then let's see if it's loose enough now. Okay. Yep. And there's the first one. I hope I can get it. So I'm gonna set that up there. Now we just set it on the ground. And we're gonna go for the second one. You know, anytime you need to clean something like a cup, you gotta use Black Diamond Detailer by La Monster Garage. I mean, they, they, I mean, this stuff, I mean, I can't say enough about it. Y'all see, I use it all the time. So, 
Got a cup so you look a lot cleaner now across the back. Alrighty, so we got the car D badge, good to go. I'm gonna tighten that up a little bit more. Um, and then we're gonna come back and we are gonna tint these areas right here. So we're gonna give it a black look all the way across the back of the car. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. Alright, so what we're gonna do first, we wanna prep the area and they give you the actual uh, prep stuff solution. I already, you know, wiped it off and stuff like that. So I want to actually use this before I put the uh, actual tin on there. So I'm gonna spray a little bit over the whole area. Just clean. Make sure we get any kind of leftover. Stuff over there. It's been pretty smooth, so should be good to go. All right. Now we're gonna work on this area first, and that is you gotta love how you know Lux. I mean, they take care of you. They make sure you you know there's no question about it. This is the driver side trunk portion, so they make sure. I know you could fit it up and say yeah, it's probably go over here, but it's easy. You know what I mean? They just they just label it for you. Easy day. So. And like I said, we, we got our heat gun just in case we need it um, to help apply it. I've seen some people use heat guns, some people didn't. So we are locked and loaded. Let's get it. The good thing about it is you can, you know, you can take your time and peel it back up if you. And what I should be doing is using the squeegee, which I'm gonna do right now. We make sure we get all the fingers out, no fingers in there. And if need be, of course, we can put some heat on it, just a little bit, just so we can get the rest of the fingers out. So, the beautiful thing about it is, hit the trunk open. So we're gonna pull it back open a little bit. Pull it back up. So I can get that portion out that, uh, put the finger down there. There we go. Take your time. That's all we gotta do. Let's take our time. Mm -hmm. Take your time. Take your time. That's it. We take our time and we are good to go. And of course, you're gonna open this front back up so you can wrap this edge around. We got no fingers on here. We are good to go. As you can see, we got this portion tenant right here. Ready to rock and roll. So, I need to start off to the side, but we're gonna get ready and we're gonna apply this one right here. All right, got y'all a little closer to the action this time. So, like I said, gotta make sure we have that squeegee. And of course, this here is the driver side. Fender. We're gonna bring it off. That doesn't wanna come off that easy, huh? There we go. Okay. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line up, line up here. Probably, yeah, that's probably the best bet. I'm across the top. I got all of that space covered. Let me take a squeegee. Work my way down. Work my way this way. Should we get all the fingers out? You know, just take your time. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, when they make a product like that to where you can, you know, it's forgiven, you know, you're good. And we could just take and tuck this in. Yeah. Well, actually, it might be best to pull the trunk, open the trunk. Just like we did last time, and just fold it on over in there. It lays down. And it's good to go. What y'all think? I can do it all you did. It's easy, you know what I mean? These companies, you know, they take care of you. They make sure that you get a... All the stuff that you need, you know what I'm saying, and you're good to go. So, we got this side done. Let's move on over here. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna make sure this area is cleaned off pretty good, like we did on the side. Clean everything off. And, gotta have a squeegee. And we have our passenger side trunk portion, which is going to lay like this. So let's get it off of here. All right. So what we're going to do is line it up on the top here. And we're going to walk it from this side over here. You know, let it lay itself down. And you just come through with the squeegee and you take care of the rest. You see? That easy. I'm folding on in on the side there. Let's open the trunk and make sure it is set. That's good to go. So, we got no runs, no fingers in there. Everything looks good. Everything looks good. Okay, now. Let's hit the spot right here. All right, so we got a passenger side fender portion. Peel that right on off. A major, major shout out again to Lux, man, because I mean, it's, they make it so simple for you, so easy for you to do this. And we're gonna start from this end over here, around the top. Lay it down, and I've got a squeegee. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up because I saw it didn't fall, right? All right, that's all good. Very forgiving stuff here. Let's see, I'm gonna walk it on down. Walk it on down, make sure we got no fingers. If you laying the whole thing down, you won't get no fingers. On the runs, shall we say. On the run down. We got no fingers on the top or the bottom. We're gonna open the trunk real quick. Hold it on in. And we are good to go. Tail lights are tinted, you dig? You man, really real. You know, I make it happen. You know. I mean, it looks real good right now. Looks real good. And that was, I mean, quick, y'all see how quick the video was. I mean, it's a quick job. So let's st take a step back, look at it, and you know, see what we really think. All right, squad, so this is what she looks like now. Clean, black all the way across the back. Tail lights have the tint on them. d badge, of course, because you remember the Dodge. Um, badge was right there. Let me know what y'all thinking about it. I'm thinking about taking this off but then again i like it because it's black as all the other accents on the car so i think i might leave 
charger right there. We'll see how I feel, you know, in a couple weeks, month maybe, you know, but I think overall it's a good clean look. Real good clean look. Let me know what y'all think down there in the comments. Drop down below. Let me know what y'all think. I think it looks real good. Matter of fact, let's see what we can see what the lights look like. Oh, one more thing. Lux, they also give you an extra one just in case you mess up on one. They let, they give you one to practice with. So, you know, if you your first time, you will be able to work with the 10 or whatever. But I did need to use it. Um, but, you know, major shout out to Lux uh, Auto Concepts for the extra one just in case. All right. So we're going to see if we can see if we can get the lights to. Yeah. What y'all think? That's the baddest baddest tail light in the land. <laughs> baddest rear end in the land. You did. You can't go wrong with that that charger uh tail light. Yeah. So like I said, let me know what y'all think down below in the comments or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Think about the job. Alright yo, so we got the job done. We got the charger D badge. We got the tail lights tinted. Looks real good, real clean back there. Like I said, I'm debating on taking the charge off. I think I'm gonna leave it because it's black, just like the accents on the car. So I definitely appreciate y'all for coming to the channel, watching the video. Make sure that you share it, share it with a friend. Maybe somebody that you know got a charger might wanna get this done, might wanna know how to do it. It's very simple. As long as you got the right tools, you're good to go. So we're closing in on 100 subscribers. We are at 99. And by the time I finish this video, we may have 100. I don't know. But what I'm going to do is for every 100 subscribers, if you are the one that make it turn over to 200 subscribers, screenshot it and send it to me. And I'm going to make sure that uh, my sponsor, Solid Apparel, sends you a free shirt. So we're going to do that all the way up to 1,000 subscribers. Um, that's our major goal to get to a thousand subscribers. So get your friends, you know, get them all in. You know what I mean? Tell them, hey, go, you know, subscribe to the page and make sure that you're watching it so that when you see it hit 99, 199, 299, you're that 200 or 300 person. So we can get you, you know, that free apparel. So we're going to do that all the way up to a thousand subscribers. So I appreciate y'all again. I appreciate all 99 of the subscribers out there, man. Y'all are what's getting this thing going. And I mean, it, it's amazing. I, I never thought that I would be this far. So it's small for others, but it's a large accomplishment for me. And I really appreciate y'all 100, you know what I'm saying? So as always, it's your main man, Really Rails. Always 100, always solid. I'm up out of here.